This is a galaxy. OK, so it's not a real galaxy. For one thing, we can't do this with real galaxies. No, galaxies are too big to fly through. This is a digital galaxy. A digital galaxy really looks like this. Vast numbers of numbers detail the distribution of mass in the Big Bang of the virtual universe. A computer uses the laws of physics to evolve the universe through time. Here is the dark matter, which is best known for being dark. But in the virtual world, anything can be illuminated. Dark matter can be green if you like green, which I do. The visible universe looks more like this. Well, actually, that's a bit of a cheat too. We're taking virtual pictures of the gas, Hi. the stars, Hello. and the gas that's turning into new stars, Yo. giving them any colour we like, then combining the layers. <sighs> but it's not too much of a cheat. Pictures of real galaxies are often coloured in this way too. Wait a few billion years in the real universe, or a few hundred years for a computer, or a few months if you've got a supercomputer, and then you have a galaxy. Well, you could have just looked at the sky. But we still make virtual galaxies because they help us study where the real ones came from.